Hello and welcome to interest.co.nz. I'm Gareth Vaughan with another of our Double Shot interviews. I'm joined by Steve Yukovic, who is the new CEO of Kiwi Bank. Welcome to interest.co.nz, Steve. Good to have you here. Great to be here, thanks. Now, you've obviously moved to Kiwi Bank after a long career at ASB. What has, what's attracted you to Kiwi Bank? I guess a combination of things, really. From my perspective, I felt that there was a really good opportunity to take New Zealand's biggest bank uh, forward. Uh, for me, the leadership opportunity was a bit irresistible once you started speaking to the shareholders around what their view was and what they wanted to achieve. Uh, and it's, you know, it is the brand in New Zealand that can make a real difference. It's really got some scale and it's ready to go to the next stage. So all of those things were pretty exciting. So there's obviously a couple of relatively new shareholders there with the Superfund and ACC, obviously NZ Post still there as well. Yep. What's their message to you as the incoming CEO? Oh, I think the, re the message from them is loud and clear and that's about we want to make a difference to New Zealand, we've got a long term view, you know it's wired into them isn't it, so you know, they, they do invest for the future, they do try and look after people uh, you know, over the next few decades, so their plan is get a really clear plan, let's you know, help the business grow, let's help as many customers as we can. So you, you talked about moving to the next level, what's the next level for Kiwi Bank? I think for us, you know, all of the banks are facing significant change around the way that customers want to interact with us. I think some things that aren't going to change are, you know, trust and openness and doing things in a uniquely Kiwi way. So I think those things will be similar, but you can see the transition towards digital that all of these businesses are facing. That's a really big part of it. So, you know, we'll invest in that area. I think for us, there's a whole lot of businesses that, all things being equal, they want to bank with a New Zealand bank. So. You know, it's our job to earn their trust and, and be credible and, and be able to deliver on that. Yeah, you, you're, you're making that point, the New Zealand Bank point. I mean, obviously you've come from ASB, which um, is Australian owned. Yep. Um, is that one of the strengths you see in Kiwi Bank? I'm just curious as to what you see as its key strengths and maybe what are, are some weaknesses where you want to improve things? Well, I do definitely see it as, um, you know, it's unique, it's differentiated in the sense that it is the biggest of the New Zealand banks and it's got decent scale. I think you know it doesn't have 170 odd years of heritage like some of the others and that's an advantage in many ways. Uh, for us it's a chance to really try and take things to another level and really understand you know, what do we want to hold on to, what's served us well over the last 17 years and, and what do we need to evolve to. So I definitely see it as a strength. Uh, the challenge I guess is making sure that we continue to earn the trust and support of the public that they feel that you know, New Zealand's bank is really looking after them and, and genuinely helping Kiwis to be better off. Uh, I think it's a pretty high standard and actually that's one of the things that attracted me to it. I think that there's a sense of ownership from New Zealand because they literally do own us uh, and that's a bit different to some of the other structures that the other banks have got. Now obviously um, Kiwi Bank has had a big write down on the um, core banking upgrade and thrown it away and you know, looking to do something new. Yep. Where are things at with that? I mean, you've obviously just got your feet under the desk this week, but, yep. um, but that's obviously going to be a big priority for you. Yeah, it absolutely is. And we're quite advanced in terms of the planning and the path that we want to take. Um, I obviously need to get myself familiar with it and, and, and gain support for that plan and, and really sort of land that. But having said that, you know, the team's done a huge amount of work. There's obviously been you know, a fair degree of introspection around what went on and, and lessons learned. I think one of the challenging things for the New Zealand marketplace is being able to accept that we can learn the lessons and move forward. I guess as a new CE I've got a chance to sort of in one sense close the door there but make sure that the lessons learned and, and how it informs our future is taken on board. Are there any details you can tell us about the direction the bank's likely to go in on that? I think it's some of the things that we spoke on there where I'm a kind of a big believer in the things that won't change. So I don't think trust, I don't think, you know, banking will be more open than closed as you know. Uh, digital will play a big part but there'll still be moments of truth where people want to be able to come and see us and sit down and talk with us so those are the sort of the you know the things that won't change uh, but there's a whole generation of customers who you know want us to accelerate our work in fintech be better at partnering with people so there's a whole range of things but just in, in terms of the the core banking system is there any specifics you can say at this point no not at the moment uh, other than the fact you know we're facing into the same challenges as every other business which is you know we need a stable current state and we need to deliver on everything that people want for today but also we need to change and adjust and, and be more agile so yeah, that's kind of where we're at at the moment but as you say a sort of week in on probably not the best person to be giving a clear view on that just yet. Fair enough. Um, one of the, the perennial questions with Kiwi Bank is expansion. You know, are they going to expand to new areas and if so, which ones? You've obviously at ASB and in recent times you've headed up the, 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 the corporate, the business corporate banking, ag agricultural 
sector, that type of stuff. That's, those are areas where Kiwi Bank has little or no presence currently. Are they op- opportunities maybe in the future or are there other areas where you think Kiwi Bank could grow? Yeah, well, look, I think there are opportunities. Whether or not they're the priority ones for us, I think I need some more time working with the board to understand that. But small business, for instance, is the backbone of New Zealand, so it's hard to think that we can grow and be successful without sort of pushing more into that area. Likewise, there's a lot of people facing the challenge of buying their first home, so you know we'll participate in those markets. But I am pretty open-minded. One of the things I'm really excited about actually is you know, when you're in the role I was in previously, you are very focused on a particular area, and while you do some enterprise stuff, it's, it is pretty much you know, business banking. Whereas in the new job, it's sort of wingtip to wingtip, you know, what are our opportunities, where do we think our brand can move to. Um, I'm really interested in the financial literacy area. I think as, you know, a New Zealand-owned organisation, we've got a commitment to try and help people understand, you know, about investing, about the cost of borrowing, about what they should do. Uh, So I think we're well placed to, to push into that space. And obviously you're coming in, in at a time where um, the economy's not quite as strong as it, as it was. Business confidence is, is, a bit, is a bit soft. There's obviously the Royal Commission going on in Australia, the FMA, RBNZ review of bank culture and conduct yep. in New Zealand. What sort of environment is this going to be for banking in the next couple of years, do you think? Well, I think, uh, you know, it is going to be interesting. There's going to be more scrutiny and, you know, much more evidence-based approach, I think, which is, you know, there's a discomfort globally with just relying on banks to tell you that they're doing the right thing. They want you to show you that they're doing the right thing. I personally see that as a really big opportunity for us. I'm a massive believer that culture is the really important thing in this sort of situation. So look a week in, I've been really upbeat about how people care about the customer and what they want to achieve. We need to nurture that. Uh, but I mean, there is some challenging times. You know, I guess there's two views. One is things are actually pretty benign and they've been good for a long time. Does that last forever? Probably not. Uh, but it's hard for me anyway to see on the horizon really dark clouds. But the, you know, the, the numbers in the surveys tend to suggest that confidence is coming off a bit, which you know is interesting. Hmm. And, and look, I mean, obviously Kiwi Bank has had its challenges in the last couple of years. Um, what's the morale like there at the moment that, that you've seen so far? Uh, How would I describe it? Look, I think at the moment there's a sense of opportunity. Uh, There's people that are working through some of the challenges we've had, and and as you say, there's been some bumpy bits along the road, but generally speaking, I would say people are upbeat about it. They're there because they think they can make a difference. Uh, They think that, you know, for people that have been there that I've spoken to in the last week or so that have been there right from the start, you know, there is an entrepreneurial spirit around the place. You know, it's a... It's a 17-year-old startup. It's got itself north of $20 billion. So, you know, I think there's a sense of pride about that. But also, I guess they're looking to the board, the new owners, myself, to to set a clear direction and, and be successful in the market. And in terms of, um, you know, going ahead and po- possibly growing in new areas, etc., have the shareholders indicated there's, you know, capital will be available for, for those sorts of things if, if, if that's where you head? Yeah, well, I mean, without guessing where we're going, they, they are supportive. You know, they, they are prepared to back a, a coherent, incredible plan. That's been the clear message to me. And so really up to us as a management team and as a company to really articulate where we think we can win and just as importantly, how we can win with the New Zealand public. So... Yeah, they're up for it, definitely, and they're just looking forward to, you know, us earning our right to get the investment because ultimately those owners are making choices, just like every owner is, and, you know, we're looking forward to demonstrating that where, we sh- where they should put their money. And obviously having spent, you know, 20 years at ASB, you've come out of one of the big four banks, so I guess you know where the, the weak points are um, <laughs> and how to take them on. That's right, poacher turned gamekeeper, I guess you're alluding to. Um, look, I think New Zealand market is very well banked, as you know, and you, and you write about every day. There's a lot of quality players in a reasonably small market, so it is very competitive. Uh, but I think for us, we need to win in a uniquely Kiwi way. I mean, I just don't see how you win in this market by being like everyone else. And so for us, you know, there's some stuff that we have to demonstrate, you know, Prudential, you know, and all the other stuff. I think that's really important for us, but actually let's win in a Kiwi way. Okay, well, look, thanks for your time, Steve, and we'll look forward to following your progress in the coming months and years. Thanks very much. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. So that's Steve Yurkovich, who's the new CEO of Kiwi Bank, and I'm Gareth Vaughan at interest.co.nz.